welcome to the 2021 Total Energies World Team Championship. It's uh, day three of competition here in Finland. Finland, who for the first time is playing host to this uh, prestigious World Championship. Luckily, uh, snow hasn't uh, arrived yet in the uh, metropolitan area here of uh, Helsinki in uh, Vanta, the uh, fourth largest city in the nation and uh, part of the metropolitan area in the magnificent Energy Arena, situated uh, 15 kilometers north of uh, downtown Helsinki, where 16 teams are battling it out for the Sudirman Cup trophy, named after Indonesian. Sudirman. This is uh, the 17th edition of the uh, World Team Championship and this year's tournament has a brand new format where 16 teams from all over the globe are divided into four groups for the uh, round robin group stage and the two best teams qualify for the knockout stage. The first five days as you can see here is uh, for the group stage and on day six for the finals in the Knockout face. Here is uh, the standing in uh, Group D that uh, we're concentrating on today. As you can see, Japan and uh, Malaysia uh, won their matches uh, yesterday, and um, Malaysia just edged out England 3-2, uh, but they were safely ahead 3-0 in um, that match. So. Uh, Today's, or this afternoon's match here on uh, Court 2 as uh, Korea earlier on today defeated uh, Tahiti uh, with a um, clean sweep. But um, here in the afternoon session it's uh, Malaysia up against uh, Egypt. Malaysia and uh, the clear favourites in this match and here is a uh, the Malaysian team huddle, they almost had to extend the hall to <laughs> make room for all the players uh, the Malaysian team have brought here to uh, Helsinki. Beautiful uh, pictures over southern Finland and the uh, Energy Arena, situated just next to the uh, football stadium of um, Vanta. Here is a uh, considerably smaller Egyptian team and their team huddle. It is the first time that uh, Egypt are uh, contesting the uh, Sudirman Cup. And no doubt that um, it might have been an overwhelming experience yesterday in uh, the match against uh, Japan. Here is the uh, order of play for uh, today's team tie. Malaysia have uh, opted for a totally different team than the one that uh, beat England yesterday and we start out with the mixed doubles and um, here we have uh, the participants in mixed doubles Chen Tang Ji and Pei Kian Wei they are the most experienced um, players in the uh, Malaysian team today fielding lots of uh, young promising uh, talent is uh, Malaysia So, uh, after that um, mixed double, we have um, men's single. Uh, it's not Lee Si Jia, the All England champion uh, today. He's been rested. Instead, Bong Se Yong, uh, 21 year old, is um, trusted hey, against uh, Kamel from uh, Egypt. Hamid Doha, the Egyptian uh, women's singles player who also participated at the um, Tokyo Olympics is up against Yonki Shuan in the uh, women's singles as the third match. Then we have um, the undefeated uh, combination of Manwei Chong and uh, Kai Wun Ti in men's doubles. They're up against uh, Mustafa Kamel who gets a break, a one match break from his men's single and uh, his partner Ahmed Salah. So Egypt is only uh, utilizing four players today. And then finally uh, women's doubles where Tsi Wei Xin and Jack Lin from Malaysia is uh, against and two players from the women's single and mixed double. Nur Ahmed Yusri and Hani uh, Doha. 
as I mentioned earlier, it's um, a first for uh, Egypt, representing um, Africa. The uh, 16 spots has to uh, be allocated in uh, a certain way, and Pan America was in um, Africa there. Uh, certainly of one qualifier for this um, final tournament each continent is supposed to uh, have uh, qualifiers and then there's some spots that are free to be allocated by the uh, world team rankings but um, in this situation here with um, the COVID crisis other continents has not had the opportunity to uh, stage qualifiers for this German Cup. So, um, it's been the uh, World Team Ranking that has um, decided the participants here in uh, Finland. So, the players are making their way onto the court. We are on court two here on uh, the adjacent court. The uh, opponents from yesterday, England for Malaysia and Japan for Egypt, is uh, playing their match. Here is um, Chen Tang Ji and uh, Peck Yen Wei. And Nur uh, Ahmed Yusri. That's going to be challenging for um, uh, the Egyptians. They only played one match internationally since February 2020. That was uh, yesterday. And of course, there's no head to heads Red. between uh, Red. Red. these two pairings. They normally don't play at exactly the you same circuit. Pass. You will serve. You will serve. Who will receive? Malaysians won the uh, coin toss and elected to uh, serve. And then the Egyptians chose to stand on the uh, far side of the court. So Chin Tong Ji and um, Peck Yen Wei, they played um, a couple of tournaments this year as we see the profile of uh, Chen Tong Ji. They have um, been as high as, um, he's been as high as 27 in the world ranking a couple of years ago. Uh, born in uh, Ipoh in Perak and his partner here. 22 years of age. They can wait. They played them. The Swiss Open lost first round to uh, Shikel and uh, Del Rey this year, and they also played All England where they lost in the second round to the very same pair from Switzerland. Um, the pair they lost to in Switzerland, they're from France, Tom Shikel and uh, Delphine Del Rey. Ahmed Salah. The most experienced in the uh, Egyptian team, born in um, Cairo, and has been uh, ranked 56 in uh, mixed doubles with um, Hadja Hosni, now playing with the um, younger partner, Yusri, here, just 18 years of um, age, has only played 57 international matches. And you can see. She has a world ranking together with uh, Mostafa Kamel, but he's playing men's single and men's doubles today. Only played 11 international Ready? matches in uh, mixed doubles, but it's also there where she has her best result. This is a semi final in Zambia International with uh, Mostafa Kamel. Here are service judges uh, Iris Metzbalo and uh, umpire was Goran Jelicijevic from Serbia.
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Keenan, represented by Marcus Ellis and Lawrence Smith. Of Mitsala, the most experienced, as I mentioned, uh, got uh, eight international victories, all uh, achieved on the uh, African continent. Six wins in uh, mixed doubles with uh, Hani Doha, and uh, three in uh, men's doubles with. Uh, oh, that's Five wins in, uh, in um, mixed doubles with Mena El Tanani and three wins in mixed doubles, in mixed doubles with um, Adham El Gamal, who has been rested today and played two matches yesterday. Did, uh, the best Egyptian player at the moment. So the match is underway. And uh, I can tell you that yesterday against One, Japan, love. actually uh, Egypt was uh, under pressure. Given their first appearance here at the Sudan Cup against one of the favourites to take the title. And uh, they uh, didn't score a whole lot of points throughout uh, the team match. So uh, I guess that's part of their goals for today to uh, sort of uh, play a little bit. Uh, I'm used to the uh, circumstances here. It's no longer the first match ever for an Egyptian team at uh, Sudiman Cup. But uh, if you have too much for points, then uh, it might also create some easy mistakes. So sometimes you should also sort of, uh, embrace the experience of uh, playing stronger opposition. Oh, uh, oh, challenge that. Yeah, you did. Challenges called it was a little bit in doubt whether there was also a uh, challenge on this court, I think. I don't know, maybe they played on uh, court two yesterday as well. But uh, we had a challenge on both uh, TV courts here in uh, Vanta. Let's see what uh, Hawkeye says. He was really um, sharp on the net there in the pack. But um, did she just miss it right? I think she might have done that. Yeah, waiting for a whole cry. I don't know if the bird is still nested or what's happened. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to uh, get the result. Also, here it comes. Out on the first point to uh, Ahmed Salah and uh, Nora Yusri. Correction up. Service over. One, five. Shot this there from. Uh, and uh, paid the price immediately afterwards. That's a good smash.
Oh, that's too steep. There's a good chance there for Awad Salah, but um, probably went a little bit too much for it. Oh, well, oh. All good, and no chance this time, so. It looked a little bit wide to me, but um, apparently not. A fantastic block shot from there. Uh, Chen Tangji. Yeah. Good uh, interceptions from uh, Peck Yang Wei and um, convincing lead for. The Malaysians here at the uh, mid-game interval, to uh, resume play. So we can uh, from uh, uh, Salah probably trying to play a little bit too close. Intimidated by facing such strong opposition. As I mentioned, it hasn't uh, really excelled in uh, tournaments outside of the uh, African uh, continent. That's a much better return. So there is going to be this uh, difference in um, playing strength and, um, and skill level in not only this match here, but I, I suppose in, in all five matches we're going to see. That we have 16 teams battling for the Superman Cup. The first 16 editions of uh, the World Team Championship had um, free entry. Every nation uh, could participate if they wanted to, but the, the tournament was played in, uh, in divisions and subdivisions so that. Um, we're almost certain of playing uh, other nations of a uh, similar level. It was, however, only the top group in the first division that could uh, win the Superman Cup. And um, that's changed now. So uh, the uh, same tournament format as uh, the men's and women's teams championship has been uh, adopted here. And, uh, That means that 16 teams now can uh, actually win this game and cop. Uh, in reality, it's not um, as many that uh, have the chance though. But uh, I kind of miss um, the old system a little bit where it was almost a badminton festival. It was played in the beginning of uh, the tournament, which was instated in 1989. It was played in um, just before the uh, individual world championship and it was like um, a week of badminton festival with six courts in the hall and uh, lots of badminton at uh, different level going on. Very, very exciting to uh, follow. I remember following the second edition back home in Denmark in 91. 
Very, very enjoyable. Sorry, so good. Four, nineteen. So, game points for Chen and uh, Peck. Yushri and uh, Salah. Excellent rally, best rally by uh, Salah and uh, Yusri so far. Salah has kept the tradition from uh, Chen Hongding, the uh, former player from Chinese Taipei, now coach for the uh, Olympic men's doubles champions. He also played with uh, Garcis. Here as uh, Chen and Peck secure the first game, 21-6, after 10 minutes of uh, play. coaching because I mean there's nothing you can do tactically to uh, sort of help I mean of course you don't lift too short don't lift on the middle of the court but but there is um, to be able to to uh, give some uh, tactical advice you have to have a toolbox and uh, that toolbox is almost comparable to the opponent's toolbox, so to speak. The uh, physical strength, the movement, the technical skills, tactical understanding and so on. And, and here there's, there's nothing really that can, um, that can help Yusri and, and Salah. It's just um, giving it a shot, playing as well as possible. And see um, how far it gets. I think perhaps they were saying that they don't play too sharp, but, but the Malaysians earn the points. If they kill it, then it's fine. If, if we make the mistakes, then um, maybe our selection uh, should have been uh, different. The defense from uh, Peck Yenwei. Excellent defense there. <laughs> Almost parted the hair of uh, Peck Yenwei. Whoa. And then a traffic jam to kill it. Efficient service from uh, Chen Tang Ji. I thought he gave it a little more pace and. Uh, Usually, that's another winner there. The bar show. That's a good Bye. thing to sort Bye. of um, practice for the Malaysians because it's 
it's difficult for them to to really get something useful out of the um, actual Six, rallies one. here. There's simply too big a difference in um, in playing level. It's been wiped. With the server situation, that you can focus Seven, on. Seven, one. Yeah, good variation. Yeah. Section on the uh, user right here. And that's something ten. that um, they can use as motivation uh, going forward. Also, a good flicker. What they should do when they like, get home from uh, these tournaments here in Europe is to uh, cut a little video of all the positive things that they've um, done on court. Four, the scoreline here at the uh, mid game all in the second game. That's the result for um, the two Malaysians for a win in their home tournament the Malaysian International back in 2018. It's like their partnership in the beginning of um, 2018 in uh, the Thailand Masters. And of course hasn't had the opportunity to play so much due to the uh, Corona situation. Hasn't been qualified for it. For instance, the uh, talent back earlier this year. Playing someone is quite a bit better than ourselves, and it feels like things are happening in uh, fast forward on court. You're totally motivated, uh, trying to produce your best, but uh, it just seems to happen at a whole different speed. And the opponents are just much, much more used to playing in that speed, it's normal speed for them. Five. 
Well, they've done a good job uh, in two Malaysians here in terms of uh, maintaining focus. Could have been part of the um, plan coming into this match, making sure that they maintain focus even though they probably knew before the match that they were going to win it. Now there's 14 match points. drive show from uh, Ahmed Salah ends this uh, first mixed doubles match as expected uh, Chen Tangji and uh, Peng Yanwei is uh, victorious and uh, a convincing uh, scoreline just as we saw yesterday but um, there were some uh, bright moments for Salah and, uh, and usually this is not one of them but all credit for, uh, for trying Satisfaction in the uh, Malaysian camp. Here is the confirmation of the score. It all ended in uh, 20 minutes of play. 21-6, So, uh, next match coming up is uh, men's singles. It's uh, Eun Se-yong up against uh, Mohamed uh, Mustafa Kamel from Egypt. back here in the energy arena with uh, the afternoon session of day three of competition We're focused on uh, court two where Malaysia is taking on Egypt 